All right, so we all know what happens to a lithium battery when, well, it wants to go out. There's nothing you can do about it, but watch. Yeah, I mean, you could try to put it out, but at the end of the day, it's gonna do what it wants to do. Luckily, there is something called the Bat Box that we're gonna be testing out today. Hopefully it can actually contain a lithium battery explosion. We also have this Mojave out here owned by Caesar. He's a really good local friend of mine. Oh my goodness, look, it left skid marks. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> now, just as you guys guessed, we blew up a battery previously without any kind of uh, surrounding precautions around the battery. So Hobby King actually sent out this bat box to me and we're gonna test this and, well, there is one over there that we are gonna blow up. Well, I guess we're gonna see if it can even blow up, but we're also gonna see what this is uh, kinda like. So I kinda like this little latch over here and um, this little rubber seal also um, makes it like airtight almost. Um, you have some things in there. You have a little stand, instructions. You have a little rubber knobby thing that your wires go through so that in the event of a fire, it doesn't leak out through the wires. So these little vent holes actually allow it to relieve pressure from inside the uh, storage space. And that is pretty smart because if you try to contain and keep it in, you know, this lid will fly open and this will be a literal time bomb, like a grenade. So this will actually easily allow the battery to, uh, well, dispose whatever it wants to, smoke, fire, and all that. And it is also fire retardant and all that. So that is actually very smart. So hopefully it still contains the majority of the fire. Now, keep in mind, you're gonna buy a very nice looking lithium battery safe box or whatever. You're not just putting one battery. We're gonna be putting, well, a lot more than just this monster, this monstrosity right here. This is an Innovation RC Edition 10,000 milliamp. Now, as much as it hurts me to say, we're gonna be sacrificing this one. He's also two years old and he's had many, many speed run activities. He was in the boats and he's just had a lot of time of torture. So I think it's a good time to, um, you know, put him down or, I don't know, out there and blow them up. I wanna make sure this box can actually contain this. And we're also gonna sprinkle some extra little goodies here and there inside of that box to see if it can contain it. And just to show you, the battery is 100% good. 25.1, 25, almost 25.2 volts. So we have this thing fully charged and we're gonna overcharge it. Um, again, do not do this, do not do this. Every single cell is almost identical. It's it's still a good battery, which is what I'm trying to tell you. So the realistic scenario is you're charging a battery. Obviously it's a good battery that you intend to use in an RC car or whatever it is. And um, so here's a good battery that I really don't want to sacrifice, but I'm doing this for uh, scientific purposes. <laughs> and we need to pretty much just see if these boxes can, you know, contain it. And on the other end of the battery box all the way down there, we have our charger. We are only gonna be doing one lead, so if anything happens, I'm gonna be wearing these gloves, yanking these things out, and we're going to run back. And we still have our safety equipment here. We obviously, we have our gloves, we have our fire extinguisher. Caesar was ever so nice to bring another fire extinguisher that we're actually gonna have on hand standing in the back of my car. We're also gonna have one here. And uh, just in case, you know, I have my little ammo can here for whatever we need to dispose of, or let's say I just need to put whatever it is behind it so it shields it. And you know, so we're just trying to be as safe as possible with this most dangerous test I am really ever going to do. All right, and now just to shade everything, I have the little cone over here. Everything is shade underneath the umbrella over there just so nothing overheats, nothing catches fire here. We want it to happen there. All right, so if you guys are excited to see this pretty explosive test, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more. So without any further ado, let's hop into this. All LiPo batteries will do this. So make sure you take good care of them. They'll take good care of you and make sure you uh, stay safe. All right, so we're gonna load this battery box up right here. There is a pretty decent amount of room in this thing overall. This is like a massive battery, so you know, you could put another one and then some more. I know it says to only use like two 4S or 6S at 5,000, in which this already exceeds that. I wanna do a realistic scenario to where like, you're not getting this whole box to just store one battery. You're putting like three or four or five other batteries in there. That's what we're gonna do. And inside the shade over here so they don't really get too hot. So we have these batteries over here. We have, you know, just other brands of batteries that we don't really need anymore. So, so I guess we'll put these two things in there. We have a 4S and a 3S right here. 
just in that and that. All right, so Caesar's got these other batteries he needs to get rid of too. Why not? What a what a good opportunity. And I guess we'll just sprinkle some of these things in there, just some batteries that are just no good or they're old or whatnot. So I think this is a decent fill right here. It's not filled up to capacity, but you know, majority of it is filled and the batteries for the most part are good, unfortunately. But as I said, this has to be a realistic scenario and we need to um, we need to make sure this is as realistic as possible. So this is gonna be the last time we're ever gonna see these batteries in here. They all did us well and they performed really well. We're closing it in, make sure everything is in there. And um, we're gonna latch her. All right, latched, everything is plugged in. Okay, and what I will say, I'm not gonna show you guys what I put the charger on for safety's sake. I do not want anyone replicating this at all. So here we go. Battery check. We are charging. All right. We're gonna record here. Everything is good to go. Hopefully everything just stays the way it is. All right, so I just put my gloves on. We have both of these little fire extinguishers right there. That is recording and everything should be ready to go. Go as in blow. It's at 29.7 volts. So it's now at the voltage of an almost dead uh, 8S battery. We are sitting way back over here and we're just gonna wait. We're charging at well over 10 amps to that battery, so. And we're waiting. We're waiting. So we're at about storage voltage with this guy. We have to keep pushing. Hopefully he keeps going, but this LiPo screamer is gonna scream at us once, uh, once it's even lower than that. Still waiting. 31.78 volts and it's pushing. I'm putting it back on the charger. Yeah, so we have to move over here. So now that we're in the shade and everything seems to be all right. That, but you heard that. That's the yeah, that cell detaching from the tape. That's it. That's it. That's another one. There should be six, right? That's three. We hear it popping. Four. All right, stand back. Stand back. Seriously. I hear it hissing. Oh, check our main port. That was it. Charger has no use now. Yeah, this thing's about to go. Yo! I missed it with the GoPro here, but the 360 cam definitely got it. Yeah, so Caesar pretty much got the exact time when it happened. Oh my God, the power in that. Let's try to start the put out process because it's still on fire after uh, after 10 minutes. It is still on fire. It is completely gone. See the wind's going out that way. So we actually planned this kind of, kind of appropriately. Try to at least cool this off, get some liquid on it. There we go, now the fire's off. That is just insane. I mean, it held, it held whatever what was in there, but I will tell you the explosion probably would have been more detrimental if there were no breather holes in the top, you know? It would have just blew up and it would have been a piece of metal flying at you, just like a grenade, so. And I will certainly tell you, you need to take care of your LiPo batteries no matter effing what. You, you, you really do. Oh my God, hey, there back, 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 yep. there's more of them. Holy crap, it just reignited. Yeah, I'm gonna save this. We need to we need to chill for like 20, 30 minutes. I just tried putting it out and it just reignited. There's probably more batteries in there. Oh, there's another, I think. I uh, yeah, that, that's why I said we still have to stay like at least 10 feet away no matter what. And um we should honestly probably leave this thing for oh yeah, that's a lot of fire. And um yeah, keep in mind I see those signs. We're gonna do the absolute most in cleaning this area up. But why this area is actually the best is because it's away from people. It's not an open road. So regarding a controlled condition, that's why I wanted to do it on this road so no one else gets hurt or distracted on the road. We should have brought some burgers and dogs, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's a chemical fire and it's a hazard to our health. Marshmallows. Yeah, look at that, it's reigniting. 
Oh my God. Yeah, you know what? It's probably those tiny 1S's. Yeah. There's another one that's about to go. I heard something else just pop. It could be the 3S or the other green 4S that I threw in there too. Yep, there's another. I just heard another. The sound from it, it's insane though. Oh yeah, I told you. The power is ridiculous. <laughs> now I'm not going to be able to sleep at night. This is what you want, guys. As you can see, I blew another battery up in here. It only just took the, uh, the outer enamel off, but ammo can, military grade. Still melting, still melting. I think I'm just gonna douse it in this. Oh yeah. This is over half an hour, and I guarantee you, I'm not even gonna touch it. Oh yeah. I hear the sizzle, it's still burning this stuff. Try to get some stuff in there. All right, so we pretty much have everything cleaned up minus everything over here. It's been about over half, well, it's been well over half an hour since the first ignition. Uh, just stand back, stand ready. Um, yeah, just stand back. I'm only going in just like this. No sign of anything, um, anything happening because I know we all want to see what's in here. All right, so that was actually a pretty easy latch release. I'm gonna take this cord and we're gonna put, oh, well, I guess that's not happening. That would have been convenient to just pull it back, but stand back. Oh, wow, there's nothing left. And I'm standing as far away, I'm reaching the GoPro into this. Nothing left, nothing, nothing, nothing left at all. And it's still, it's still kind of steamy in there. These things are serious, including what's in the GoPro right now is a lithium battery. Cars, if they get too hot, you guys have seen Teslas blow up. Do you recommend the box? Would I recommend that box? Well, I will certainly tell you it's much better than buying nothing. And I will also tell you it's much better than those standard LiPo bags that you see for six, eight, ten 10 bucks. Those LiPo bags, they do nothing. This, for the most part, it kind of contained it but you, you, you can't contain something like that. You just can't, unless you put it completely surrounded with cinder blocks and it's completely you know, airtight, or you just get an ammo can. An ammo can is gonna be your absolute best bet for lipo storage over you know, a long time. And then let's say you go away for the winter or something, put it in an ammo can, get two to three of them, put it in your oven so that it's not touching anything like a carpet or a wooden shelf.